Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Um, good morning everyone. Um, please don't mind the background. Um, it's for um relaxation. So, anyways, for um today we will be discussing about uh, writing set notations on three um sets. Okay. So firstly, po um ang ginagawa po natin dito is actually you will be provided. This is an, an example, by the way. You will be provided with a given set with all the elements within it. Hindi na po to shading. And you will be given uh, the operation and you will provide the elements, okay? The specific elements. So, for example, let's have this one po. And this would uh, most likely appear in your examinations. Po. Okay? So, we have this. Um, we have the universal set, of course. Let me use the blue pen. You have the universal set. You have the set A. You have, wait, let me write that down properly. You have your set A, you have your set B, and you have your set C. Okay? And I will write down the elements for set A. The answer is 14, 2, and 8. And for set B, the answer, the sets is 5 and 7. Exclusively for set C, it's 18, 9, and 15. For set B and C, this is 13. For set A and C, the answer is 11. For A, A B, and C, it's C. And then for A and B, it's 6 and 1. And for the other one outside the set, it's 10. We have 16. We have 17. And then we have also 12. Okay? So this is our set po. Ito po yung mga yung elements of the set and I will be providing with you yung mga elements po. Okay? I I mean the operation itself. So for example, I may, if I may ask you. Number 1. What is A intersection B? Okay? So the A intersection B, you just have to look at the elements of A and B. So mangyari dito is disregard niyo muna yung other sets, okay? Which is set C. Ang kunin niyo ito is A and our ito yung set A sinade ko siya and our set B this one okay okay the thing about this one is um, when it comes to um, intersection is you're looking at the common part kung ano yung nasa gitna nilang dalawa okay and you will notice class na dito sa ating given eto in our given po ang nasa gitna nila or their intersection is actually itong nandito Ayan. kasi remember ang intersection po is the commonality okay the common part of them ito po yung common part nila which is actually just simply elements set uh, elements 6 1 and 3 or any order po okay so this would be your elements and this is a intersection B, okay Wait, let me remove the shading po para hindi kayo malito later. So, the answer here is just simply 6, 1, and 3. Okay? So, ginawa nyo, ito lang yung kinuha nyo kasi ito lang yung ano, intersection nila. Now, on this part, kailangan visual learning. Um, ma, you are able to um, visualize ano ba yung, ano, yung figure na kailangan natin at alisin, okay, disregard ano ba yung mga elements na hindi natin kailangan. Okay? So, for example, now, again, you're being asked, what is B intersection C? Now, B intersection C is just simply the common part, the common part of the B and C. So, i-visualize nyo lang po, ano ba yung common part between B and C po? Okay? The common part between B and C is just simply 3 and 13. Take note, i-visualize nyo, alisin nyo sa isip nyo yung A. Ang kunin nyo lang si B and C set C. Okay? So, ito lang po yan. Okay? So, you will notice na ang common part lang nila is etong nandito sa gitna. So, ibig sabihin, yan yung intersection nila. And that's just simply th 3 and 13. Oops, wait lang. Let me remove this one. That's 3 and 13. Sorry, I think you heard me on that. So next one po, um let's uh, let's try um A union C. Okay, let's try A union C. So uh, ginagawa natin yung medyo madadali lang muna, okay? 
So, ang A-Union C, again, you have to visualize. Ano ba dapat yung mga aalisin ko na part? And alin yung mga kailangan ko lang? Ang sabi dito, A-Union C. So, we are talking about only A and C. So, disregard ko si B. Okay? So, pag disregard ko si B, ang matitira is yung elements ng A and elements ng C. So, ang gawin nyo, silipin nyo, ano ba yung mga nasa bilog ng A? Ng A? Ito yung nasa bilog niya. Ito lang. Okay? And then, since that is union, you will take every element within the set. Sabihin, kukunin nyo lahat ng nandun sa dalawang bilog na yan. Okay? So, what would happen would be... Ah, sorry. The elements would just simply be... Sorry, let me remove this one. Bako langin tayo sa space. Okay? The elements would simply be... Um, sa isahin nyo, 2, 8, 14, 6, 1. Nababa ko lang. It's 3, 11, 18, 19, 15... And 13. Yan. You have to check. Ano-ano ba yung mga elements? So, we have 2. Ito. We have 8. We have 14. We have 6. We also have 1. We have 3. We have 11. We have 18. 8, 9, 15. And we have 13. So, once na nakuha nyo lahat ng elements, therefore, you're already good. Okay? Yan po yung A union C. Okay? Maybe let's have something more complicated using this uh, given po. Okay? So, I will erase this po. Anyways, you can access that. Uh, review, rewind naman the video. Okay? So, say we have... Let's say number 4. Okay? Say we have B union C complement. Now, this one get, it gets a little bit tricky. So, ang gagawin nyo muna dito is the same po na ginagawa natin before. Okay? Kunin nyo yung union yung dalawa. Okay? So, sabi daw dyan, B union C is just simply, shade natin po ah. Ito po. Ito yung B union C. Okay? Yun yung B union C. Pinag-combine mo yung B and C. At ang sabi daw dyan, complement. E ano ba ginagawa pag complement? When we are talking about complement is we are removing... Uh, we are taking everything, lahat, except for the ones that we are talking about or yung set operation na kailangan natin. Since ang set operation na ginamit natin is B union C, lahat kukunin natin bukod dito sa mga to. So, ibig sabihin, we will exclude this part. Instead of taking it, di ba, sinashade nyo na, you will exclude. Sabihin, aalisin mo siya. And ano ba yung mga elements na yun? So, ito yung mga elements na yan. This ones, yan. Okay, so let's write it down. I will remove the shading to para magamit natin ulit later. So this would simply be 10, 16, 2, 14, 8, 12, and 17. And that's our B, Union, C, complement. Okay, let's have another example. Let's say we have number 5. Um, what if you're being asked, what is C? complement okay c complement is just simply taking c everything except for the elements of c so i shade natin yung c yan and again you're taking everything except for the elements of c so kukunin niyo yan lahat shade natin ang ibang color kukunin niyo to lahat okay except for c okay so again mangyari diyan your answer would just simply be alisin ko na yung shading it's Everything but C. So, 10, 16, 14, 2, 8, 6, 1, 5, 7, 12, and 17. So, you have to check. Kung may 11 ka dito sa sagot mo, may 3 ka dyan, may 13 ka, 18, 9, and 15, mali ka na. Kasi ang, ga, ang sabi nga natin, we are taking the complement, meaning we are taking all elements except for C. Okay, and that would be your C complement. Okay, so maybe let's try to invent something. Invent tayo ng kahit ano operation. Something hard. Pagsama-samahin natin yung tatlo. A, union B. Minus B, intersection C. Ayan, it's a little bit hard. Okay, so ano kaya elements na itong mga to? Okay, so let's check po. Ano ba yung A union B? Okay? A union B is just simply this one. 
A union B. Okay? So, yan yung A union B. And since yan yung A union B, ang next natin na gagawin is we will check ano ba yung A intersection C. Ay, B intersection C. Ang B intersection C is this one. B intersection C. Ito po. Okay? At ang sabi daw dyan, ang mangyayari would be, ang gagawin natin kung ano man yung elements ni B intersection C, aalisin natin doon sa A. Ibig sabihin, specifically, itong part lang na to, okay, doon sa dilaw na shading yung aalisin natin. And you will notice, ito lang 3 actually yung nawala. Okay? So, matitira would be 14, 2, 8, 6, 1, and 11. So, that would be our elements. So, ang elements natin would be everything except doon sa sinubtract natin, which is 3. That is 14, 2, 8, 11, 6, and 1. Okay. And uh, this would be your elements. And this one's a little bit complicated na. Okay. But other than that, um, thank you for listening, everyone. I hope you, if you have any other questions po, you can review the video or you can ask me dun sa classes natin. Okay. Thank you for listening again. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.